Good morning, everybody. I would like to introduce the Department of Integrated Global Studies at Hiroshima University, which is an undergraduate program taught entirely in English. So this is a picture of our first students in 2018 when we started this new program. But first, let me explain a little bit about Hiroshima University. It is one of Japan's leading national universities. It has more than 10,000 undergraduate students and more than 4,000 graduate students. The number of international students is increasing too. We are located in the west of Japan. Within Hiroshima University, IGS, as we call our department, is situated in the School of Integrated Arts and Sciences. This was actually the first school in Japan to start to integrate arts and sciences into one program. And it's a cross-disciplinary school. So, let's have a look at IGS. First, our students come from around the world, as you can see on this map. During four years, we have had students from different continents coming together to study. What's the goal of our studies? What kind of people do we want to educate? We have created three central concepts. One is integrated thinking, the other one is global vision, and the third one is cooperative action. And through these three concepts or abilities, we hope to educate people that in the end can cooperate with others to solve international problems and will lead to creative actions for a more peaceful world. This may sound a little bit abstract, so let me explain in more details what kind of course or program is IGS. It's a small program. We have about 40 students every year, so usually all our students know each other and they go on very well. Our students come from different countries and backgrounds. We cannot even clearly distinguish between Japanese and international students because we have students of Japanese nationality who grew up in another country. We have students with maybe German or Spanish or Indonesian nationality who were born and raised in Japan. And we have students who have lived in several countries already by the time they enter IGS. So it's a very diverse group of students. So to be able to study together, we need a common language. And that common language is English. So IGS is not a course to study English, it's a course to study in English. And within this course or program, we integrate humanities, social and natural sciences. So students can actually choose from a wide variety of subjects to create a course that fits their own interests and ambitions. We have very few courses that students have to take. Students are able to create their own curriculum while consulting with a teacher who is their assigned tutor. Students also have the chance to experience society and work and cooperation through our internships. All students in the third year do an internship in Japanese or international organizations, which gives them an idea about their future work too. And we have an emphasis on language education. English is our common language, but we encourage international students to study Japanese because they will live in Japan for four years and other students will learn different languages besides English. Well, it comes first when um, I was granted, uh, given a chance to come to the campus and experience like, directly like, how is the environment uh, in the Hiroshima University. And, uh, from the open campus itself, there are like really like several interesting presentations done by the professors, in which like it really intrigues me in a way that this could be an interesting place to learn. And also, it was mentioned during open campus that 
they uh, can provide like really more of an international environment for the students. And also because of the students are either required or it's possible for them to use English. And during that time, I, I'm not really confident with my Japanese. And I thought that this could be a really good chance for me to try to attend, in a way, to mm. university. And yeah, I got accepted, so I just uh, joined the university. Um, my field is the environment of society, but I focus more about the environment, especially about ecology. Ever since I was a kid, I was basically the type of kid that really likes to play outside and enjoy like the nature surrounding my place and because I didn't grow up like in a really like, big cities in those kind of those kind of areas. And throughout my experience like either uh, traveling traveling around, looking around like the small things in the environment, it like, really, really built up my interest in nature in a way that in the future it carries on with me uh, to a level where I really need uh, either need or want to learn about it and that's why I became interested in the field of the environment. Ah yes. Uh, so far my thesis uh, project will be about like the study about the comparison of the environment in which there are like human interruptions or even invasive species interruption in comparison to like well more or less you can say genuine area uh, uh, I conduct these studies in the island of Okunoshima like I see and also in Kobunoshima which is in uh, uninhabited island which is a very interesting place because once you can see it's really a jungle <laughs> there's nothing there <laughs> And yeah, like when you enter both islands, like in a way that even though it's like really near to each other, they present a completely like different world or in a way that it's a different situation where it's really, really almost untouched in a way, especially for the Kogunoshima Island because it's an uninfected island, yes. Mm. Well, more or less, because I did my internship in the Department of Environment Management and also Wage Management, so it's in a, in a way related to my study topics and also my thesis in a way, mm. yes. Okay. Well, personally, i interested in the um, curriculum of IGSS. First of all, is that every class is conducted in English, which um, I believe that it has more accessibility to academic stuff. Second is that um, in IGSS, I have a chance to study both in sciences and art, not spe specifically in any, in any field, which is, um, I found it's very interesting. And last but not least is that like even though every class is conducted in English, I still have a chance to study in Japanese or like take some Japanese class as well. Um, well, yeah, a little bit better from like the first year since I entered. I'm already fourth year. Well, um, I choose peace and communications as a major. Well, um, during my first year, I take many several class in rebel arts, and I find out that most of the time, sometimes the um, conflicts, whether it's about a uh, social problem or political. Sometimes it just happens from the misunderstanding toward each other. So that is kind of related to peace and communication where I believe that everybody actually have a peace as a goal and then the right way to communicate, to communicate with each other as a direction. So that's the reason why I decided to choose peace and communication as a goal and communication as a direction. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's um, kind of related to specifically in the field of communications, kind of like linguistic. So um, my uh, graduation thesis is actually about um, sarcasm, which is, um, I believe that it's also, even though not in a big scale of like the world conflicts, but in the smaller scale, just like a conversational, um, sarcasm can become a conflicts and like, yeah, I think that it's really related to the linguistic field. Yes, so um, unfortunately, like during my internship is happened in tw 2020, which is like the global ha pandemic is happened, but I still have a chance to do my internship in um, City Hall and um, in the um, Department of Lifelong Learning, which is like, of course, not really, um, like related to my field, but still I have a chance to um, start to know about the atmosphere of Japanese working society, um, the manners and uh, other kind of stuff. It's actually really related to my plan after graduation because of like still I would like to work in Japan after my graduation. So even though it's not really related to my graduation thesis right now, but it's very um, giving me an image of like Japanese working society, which is like 
what I have to really experience after I graduate and work in Japan. So, yeah. So, another important point in IGS is we are an integrated course. So we want to make sure all students have some basic knowledge across cultural, social and natural sciences. And on, for this purpose, all first year students will tackle some kind of basic science courses. They will do, for example, experiment courses. On top of this, you can also choose to specialize in sciences and start research with a science teacher. So, we have science teachers for physics, chemistry, biology and geology. So, you can focus on one of these subjects and do your final thesis and maybe go on to graduate school in such a subject of natural sciences. So, let's look a little bit in detail at what can you study in IGS. We have grouped our subjects in three big fields or themes and this is what you will study in IGS. The three fields are culture and tourism, peace and communication and environment and society. All students take subjects throughout the whole three fields. But in the end you will focus on one of these fields to do your specialized undergraduate thesis at the end of your course. Let's look at the three fields in detail. First of all, we have culture and tourism. So, for example, some students in the future want to contribute to regional and cultural development using tourism. Then, they might choose courses like geography and culture subjects, international tourism, anthropology and so on. Our second field is peace and communication. Peace is a very important theme for Hiroshima University and all our first year students are taking peace subjects. So, if you think about finding conflict resolutions from a multicultural perspective, in IGS you could study these kind of subjects from the first year through to your final thesis. Or our third field is environment and societies. Maybe you are interested in preserving nature and biodiversity. So you could study these kind of subjects including experimental works in the first years and also in the third years. So we'll, you will get a very practical understanding. So this field includes natural sciences as I mentioned before, physics, chemistry, geology, so it gives you a good opportunity to study these topics. So after graduation, what kind of work will students do? Or what kind of choices do they have? IGS was started in 2018. So in spring 2022, for the first time, IGS students will graduate and start jobs or graduate school. So, we don't know yet from experience, but we expect that many of them will either go back to your home country and find a job with an international company or organization, or maybe they stay on in Japan and find a job in an internationally minded company in Japan. Many students right now are also preparing to enter graduate school in Japan or maybe even abroad. And of course, there is the possibility to work in an international organization somewhere around the world. I hope this has made you interested in IGS and so I would like to explain a little bit about our application system. We conduct exams for students who are interested to enter IGS and we have several selection systems. The first two systems we have, you can take the exam from the place where you live, online, via Skype, which I think is a very good opportunity. So you don't have to come to Japan for the entrance exam. And there is two kinds of examinations in July and in November. Or, if you are already in Japan, 
or want to come here for the entrance exam, we have two types of entrance examinations that will be conducted in Japan on campus, in autumn and in spring. So there are several possibilities to join IGS, for example, through one of these exams. The detailed information will be addressed on our homepage, so please make sure to confirm well in advance when you have to apply and how you have to apply. Finally, some practical things. Of course, you are concerned about our tuition fees. Tuition fees in Japan are much lower than, for example, in the United States. But still, you have the chance in IGS to study in English. There is also different possibilities to apply for reduction of tuition fees or scholarships or subsidized housing. The information is available on our website. As for accommodation, all IGS students can stay in the student apartments for the first two years, which is a very cheap possibility and you live together with other students, especially also Japanese students. After that you can choose your accommodation from a wide variety of apartments or rooms available in and around the university. As for the environment, Hiroshima University is located in Higashi Hiroshima city, which is about 30 minutes from the center of Hiroshima city. Our campus is very spacious and it has a lot of greenery and students can enjoy several activities, but they can also experience local Japanese life that you could not experience if you live in a big city like Tokyo. And as you know, Japan is famous for its safe and clean environment and you can experience the beauty of the Japanese nature in and around our campus. Well, finally, let me explain why do we start IGS in April. We know that around the world many universities start in autumn, but Japan's academic year and school year and work year all start in April. So when you start in April it means you can study together with the Japanese students. And if you decide to apply for a job in Japan after graduation, April will be the start for your working life and during the fourth year you will look for a job already. So that's why we decided it's better to start in April. When we start in April, that's when the cherry blossoms are blooming. So I hope I got you interested in IGS and you will look at our homepage where we provide messages from students or mini lectures to give you an idea what life in IGS is like. And I hope that next year, when the cherry blossoms are blooming, I will see you all in Hiroshima University. Thank you for your attention.